Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Gripper Rip back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing why I am not buying 2022 Topps Stadium Club this year. So this video, I'm going to go over all the things that I think is wrong with Stadium Club in hopes that you guys can make a informative decision on whether or not you want to buy it or you want to pass on. There's a couple concerns I have with the release, and hopefully you guys listen and you know watch this video before you buy Stadium Club, just to be warned that these things can potentially happen with your box of Stadium Club. So before we get to that, I want to give a big shout out to everybody who's watching. Thank you guys so much. Can we get a like goal of 110 likes? If we get 110 likes, that would be awesome. So we've been accomplishing almost every like goal. So that would be awesome if we can continue that streak. As well as I have merch. And so far, one person has bought merch. So what we're doing, if you guys have missed a couple videos, for every person who buys merch, what I want you to do is is I want you to direct message me on Instagram, Grip and Rep Sports Cards on Instagram. Show me your proof of purchase saying that you bought it and you'll be entered in a chance to win 2022 Tops Update. I'm giving away a blaster box, okay? One person DM'd me already, and it was him because it matched. The name matched with the person's name that I could see on the like the uh, settings tab. Of, I could see who buys it. So we have one person entered so far, and guess what? If one person buys merch, guess what? He's the winner. He will win the box if he's the only one. But if other people obviously buy merch and DM me proof of purchase, they will also be entered and we will select a person on a video and then I will DM them on Instagram and you know get all the details and everything like that. But this giveaway will end January 1st. So either January 1st or January 2nd, I will be picking the winner. So all you guys have to do is buy a t-shirt or a hoodie, either or, and then DM me proof of purchase on my Instagram and you'll be entered to win the box. The shirt's really nice. I mean, the shirt is really, really neat. I like it. I'm going to even buy myself one so I could have and wear to make maybe some card shows or things like that in the future. Like, oh yeah, this is me. And speaking of me, well, we are going to be maybe potentially, I'm not saying this is confirmed or not, but maybe I will be switching up how we do videos. So we're going to be, I don't know, I, everyone always complains that I just show a static image on the screen. And I understand that. You don't want to look at a like a, a screen that's not moving. It's just still, right? It, all you can do is see my shadow here in the background. I see my hand waving in the background, right? What we're going to do is I think we're going to start doing like selfie kind of commentary where you see my face and I'm going to have like cards, like boxes of cards on a shelf in the background and I talk with like the camera facing me. I'm going to look into that. I got to see how I have to like get a tripod and things like that. But I think that's what we're going to do starting the new year. Uh, so this style of video will unfortunately be coming to an end if anybody... Maybe. I mean, this isn't confirmed. I'm just thinking about it, but I think that's what we're going to do, but we'll see. Let me know what you guys think about that. Should we keep videos like how you see them right now, or should I go a selfie style commentary where you see my face with uh, a shelf of sports card in the background? So I want to hear what you guys have to think. So now let's get into the video on why I'm not buying Stadium Club. Well, there's multiple reasons why I'm not buying Stadium Club this year. We're going to talk about all of it and why you should be concerned about Stadium Club as well, considering this set has been delayed over five and a half months. My biggest concern with this product. Well, let's start out with the let's start out with the basics. I'll get into my concern in a minute. Let's start out with the basics. The price increased dramatically compared to the last two years. In 2020, a hobby box of Stadium Club was $100. In 2021, that price jumped from $100 to $120. In 2022, that same box is now $180. Depending on where you can buy it, you know, some places might sell for $185. Some places might sell for $170. Some places might even sell for $200, okay? 
That is a major factor into the reason I'm not buying Stadium Club because, you know, here's how I look at it, right? It's not like they're giving us anything more than we usually have gotten in the past. We're still getting the same amount of autographs. We're still getting the same amount of packs. And we're still getting the same amount of cards overall in a box. So why did it go up $60? People can say inflation, but guess what? It's more than inflation at this point. There is no way that inflation caused Stadium Club to jump $60 over a year. That's just, I, I can't believe that. Uh, you know, they, they've, they've been having printer issues. That could be the reason I can't see it because if that was the case, every product would have increased $50 to $60. So I don't know why it jumped $60. Maybe it's the style of card and the card stock they use, because you guys know, and we're gonna get into this in a minute. Stadium Club has that, like that, that rich texture and that, and that glossiness to it, you know. So maybe that's the reason. Maybe that style of card stock and the ink and everything that went along to making a card went up. But again, it's sixty dollars. Like I just can't see inflation spiking it up that much. If you think inflation cost Stadium Club to increase sixty dollars then you're fooling yourselves. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Tops claimed, you know, they're hiking everything 25%, and they did do that. You know, they did do that. Blaster boxes are now $27. With tax, it's going to cost you about $30 and some change. So they did increase stadium, or I should say overall prices. And, you know, the prices, everything has increased, you know, but $60 worth? I don't know, man. Sixty dollars. If I'm I'm not paying one hundred eighty dollars for a Stadium Club blaster box, I'll buy, uh, or I should say, a hobby box. I will buy blaster boxes, though. I mean, I have no problem buying blaster boxes because you know, as long as they're still twenty seven dollars. Which, by the way, I don't know if this is a mistake on Walmart's end or not, but my buddy who goes to a Walmart twenty minutes away from me, and I seen the register, so I know this is legit. An Allen and Ginter blaster box at my friend's Walmart that I even go to, they were charging $35 for, by the way. Now, I don't know if that's a mistake on Walmart's end or what, but be warned if you guys try to buy a box of Allen and Ginter at Walmart, it could ring up $35. I think that's a mistake on Walmart's end. I don't know if that's all Walmarts, but maybe that's the reason why I seen like 12 plus blasters sitting there not moved at Walmart today. I don't know. I doubt it. I highly doubt Walmart or I should say Tops would increase blaster box prices right before Christmas unless they're really that greedy. I mean, I don't know. The fact that they're charging $180 for Stadium Club this year, that's kind of greedy. So I can kind of see uh, if Tops legitimately did hike everything up to $35. But that might just be like a like a glitch or some sort. So I don't think that's legit. Although I did see the cash register, like when he did the self check, it did ring up thirty five or thirty four ninety nine or whatever it was. So I don't know what the, what that was about. But um, getting back to Stadium Club, the biggest concern I have for Stadium Club, and this is why I'm not buying it. Mainly, like I said, it was because of the price. But this is the biggest issue I have with the cards in general, right? If you guys have ever opened an old pack of Stadium Club cards, you know they like to brick, okay? They brick. They're stuck together when you open the pack, and you have to, like, you have to, like, you know, bend them back and forth to, like, unglue them in a sense so that you can, like, pull them apart, right? The biggest concern I have with Stadium Club this year, and I hope this doesn't happen, but, again, we'll find out this week. Stadium Club releases this Friday, so this is why I'm making this video right now, right? We have two releases this week. Holiday, supposedly, is releasing on Wednesday, but... Again, it's a Walmart exclusive release, so I have no idea what's going on with that. And then we have Stadium Club on Friday, okay? My biggest concern is when people open boxes, and again, this product has been delayed for five and a half months. This is supposed to release first or second week of July, by the way. Keep, it that, keep that in mind, okay? I think when people are going to open these boxes, I think they printed some a long time ago, right? And the first wave, of course, will be the first ones that have been printed. So what I think is going to happen is I think some boxes may have bricked cards. I, I really do think it's going to happen. Because even last year, 
when I opened a pack of Stadium Club in like like January of like this year. I had that box. I kept it sealed for a while because I wasn't making videos until like January of this year again, right? And I did experience some like bricking of cards like in my box of 2021 Stadium Club. So the fact that these are just coming out now and they could have potentially been printed like in July, August, and September, there may be some huge bricking slash paper loss issues. Because you guys know, if you try to rip the cards off too quickly from like the, the, the stuck together ones, you will get paper loss on the cards on the one you're trying to rip apart from the rest. So that's the biggest really concern I have for Stadium Club. And I'm making this video as an FYI. Watch some videos before you go and buy Stadium Club this year. If you want to buy a box, which I encourage retail this year uh, because of that $180 price, you would get a lot more base cards and rookies, depending on the checklist, of course, because we haven't seen the checklist yet. You know, So Julio could be in there. He could not be. I assume he's going to be, but you never know. But, um, you know, I encourage you to watch videos before you go out to the local card store on Friday or Thursday, depending on if your local card store sells them early, which some like to do, which they aren't really allowed to do, but they do anyways. Um, you know, watch some videos before you go and buy it just to see if there's any bricking and paper loss issues because there very well could be. These cards stick together very, very easily. If they're not opened and the box is kept sealed for an X amount of time, like three, four, five months, they will brick together. I even experienced it with my own box of 2021 Stadium Club last year when I bought it in July, but I didn't open it until about December or January of last year slash this year. So I just want to make this quick video explaining why I'm not buying Stadium Club. This is in no means, because I know people are going to comment, oh, you're being hateful, you're, you know, you're telling people not to buy it. Listen, I'm just telling you why I'm not buying it. I'm not telling you you don't have to buy it. If you want to spend the $180, be my guest. I'm just telling you guys, look out for some things and make an educated perp or a purchase. Don't go blind, like don't go like blinded into this, you know, not knowing what to expect. Watch a couple videos, see if the cards aren't stuck together, which I hope they're not, but they could potentially be. And then, of course, now, of course, every box won't be the same. So one person's could be, you know, stuck together. One person's may not. I don't know. I don't know how Tops prints their cards. Clearly, based off of Chrome this year, some cards were warped. And if you guys know what that is, basically, if cards in Chrome are left untouched like they are in Stadium Club, they become warped. So there's a curve on the card. And some people's boxes... Their cards were warped. Why? Because they were sitting in a warehouse for a long period of time because that set was also delayed, if you remember. So, you know, just make an informed decision before you go and buy a stadium club because these problems could exist. We don't know yet. Until boxes are opened and we see for ourselves, then we'll have to go from there. But in no way am I trying to tell you guys not to buy it. If you want to buy it, go ahead and buy it. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Stadium Club's a good set. I'll be buying blaster boxes of it. I'm not buying, especially for $180. That's like really the real reason why I'm not buying it this year. The paper loss and everything, I'm sure if you send pictures to Tops and email them, I'm sure they'll give you another box if you experience paper loss or something like that. But the real reason why I'm not buying Stadium Club is because of the $180 price that will probably, if you buy online with shipping and everything, cost you about $190 to $195, almost $200. So that's the real reason why I'm not buying it, because I think that's absolutely stupid. The fact that they're charging 60 extra bucks with no more included autographs or no more included packs, at least add some more stuff if you're increasing the price that much. But, you know, it is what it is. Tops is in Fanatics. They're going to do what they want to do at the end of the day, and we're just the ones that are going to, you know... Either buy it or not, you know. Money talks. We talk with our we talk with our money. That's what happens, you know. We talk with our money, and if we don't buy it, we don't buy it. If we do, we do. That's how it works. Let's get this pack open. Let's get out of here. Talked long enough. So we got a Jose Miranda, that rookie debut. We got. Let's see if we can get a Julio. I have yet to pull a Julio base rookie card. 
So let's see if we could do that. Or CJ Abrams rookie debut. That's a good one. Sean Manai, who's supposed to be a pirate next year. We'll see if that happens. Paxman kind of mid. Royce Lewis, first overall pick. That is his true rookie. Desert, cool off. Yeah, that pack was absolutely... That pack was absolutely mid. We got two rookies. I think Miranda's decent. I I saw people were hyping him up. So he's, I guess, decent. And then we got Royce Lewis, who was the 2017 first overall pick, who just got called up this year. So, guys, with that being said, let me know what you think about 2022 Tops Stadium Club. Do you share the same concerns as I do? If so, explain. If not, also explain. I'd love to hear what you have to think about Stadium Club. Buy my new merch and be entered into a giveaway of update, and I'll see you guys in the next one.